Well, howdy, folks. <clears throat> it's Saturday. I think it's July 17 or 18. Um, just wanted to give you a little overview on what's been accomplished this week. Uh, we have footings in. Uh, this will be for the basements. There's going to be a, a wall coming out here, or a, a door. Uh, here we'll have a retaining wall to hold back that dirt. Um, and that's why this footing is there. Um, so they take this footing up to the old one. Back there's a, uh, the new basement under what was the garage and the family room with the, that had the fireplace. Uh, there's a couple of, there's one there and one there. Those are footings as well for posts that may be in there. Um, here the footing goes along and this is the area that the family room will be in. Um, continues over. We had a bit of an issue. Um, if you look down there, that's water. Uh, I think it's from some rain. I don't think the water table is that low or that high. Uh, but what we had here was the septic tank. And you can see there's the rubble from it. The building inspector came in and uh, he said, I want that taken out rather than being filled. And the reason was, is that um, it would keep his concern is, is that it might accumulate water. Uh, so, you know, building inspections, they can be tense, uh, but actually the rules are in place for for a good purpose, and that's that we um, are able to build good solid buildings, so that's good. This footing here steps down quite a bit, and that's because over here we're going to have, um, again, the block wall, and in here it steps down. It'll get built up a bit because, again, this will be uh, eight doors or four big French doors. Remember, we're having nine-foot ceilings in this house. This, what I'm standing on, is a footing that will uh, we'll have a post that goes all the way up, and um, it'll support that, that um, gabled roof that's in that uh, four-season porch. This is the uh, footing for the bathroom, or the bedroom. And again, this will get poured uh, once the building inspector signs off <coughs> that he's happy with what's been done there. <coughs> this will be the door into the living, into the bedroom, the lower level bedroom. And then over in here, we'll have bathroom and the like. Our, um, grinder for the sewage will be over in that corner over there. Uh, today I came down to, because uh, I haven't been here for three days, Wednesday I had meetings, Thursday and Friday I had meetings. So I um, came down here today on Saturday just to sort of look it all over. Um, one of the things that we'll do is we'll walk up and, uh, you know, this sort of gives you a perspective, all the dirt that's here. That'll get back filled against the uh, block wall uh, eventually. Uh, but for now, it's something that they obviously drive around. Here's all those trees that were taken out. Um, Got to get rid of them, but uh, for the time being, what it is is it's some... Uh, some element of erosion control, uh, you know, because we added all this dirt in here. So um, we'll walk up to the front, and you'll see that we've got a lot of rubble up there. Uh, we'll have a, a dumpster brought in and see if the zebras can pick up some of this stuff and put it in. Uh, and then I'll end up cleaning up what's in the basement there. A lot of that stuff that you see is concrete related. 
next week they'll put up block walls and um, so up here uh, John Van Cure asked if if I was going to scrap out any of the metal and the like and I said no and he asked if he could if I just accumulated here so I am I'm accumulating it for him and he'll make a couple bucks off of it but you can see there's a lot to be cleaned up uh, a lot of insulation and uh, like this that's some of the uh, uh, insulation board that was on the uh, addition walls here's the you know those two bedrooms that we have you can see uh, this was an addition as we've always talked about uh, and it's not very deep it's nothing more than just a crawl space um, and we're gonna leave it that way we don't need anything more um, all of these walls every concrete wall that we have will go up 24 inches and uh, it'll go up 24 inches so that we'll end up with that 9 foot 9 clearance and then run our uh, tr floor trusses so I'll end up with actually a 9 foot headroom as I've told you before in previous videos uh, this concrete thing will be gone uh, you can see you might wonder what all that plastic is for well that's that was a vapor barrier they put that down when they put this addition up which I think was in 1984 based on some writing that I saw on a uh, on the insulation board over there on the inside um, they put that down to keep the um, uh, to keep the uh, moisture from weaking into the uh, the lumber. Um, so when I get a chance here, I'm going to clean all.